In this tutorial, we'll brush up on our skills by doing a couple of multi-digit additions. For example, 274 plus 251. First step, let's line them up. We check to ensure that we have everything lined up correctly. Which are the ones in each number? Well, in the first number, the four is in the one spot. And in the second number, the one is in the one spot. They are both aligned in the same column. Perfect. If we have any doubt, we could check the tens, or we could even say, if we showed our decimals in our numbers, they'd be right here at the end. They also are lined up. So everything is lined up nicely. So we're ready to go. Starting in the right-hand column, the ones column, four plus one is five. So we marked on the five and we have nothing to carry. Moving to the 10 spot, seven plus five is 12. So we mark down the two in the 10 spot and we carry the one to the next column, the hundreds column. Finally, let's look at the hundreds column. Two plus two is four, but we remember our carried one and four plus one is five. So we write five in our hundreds column and we're done. Let's try another. Example two, 12,804 plus 17. First step, let's line up our columns. Which are the ones in each number? In the first number, the four is in the one spot. And in the second number, the seven is in the one spot. And they're both aligned here in the same column. If we show decimals in our numbers, they would be right here at the end. And so they would also have to line up. And that's confirmed. We're ready to go. Starting in the right-hand column, the ones column, four plus seven equals 11. So we'll mark down a one in the one spot and we'll carry the other one. So moving to the 10 spot, zero plus one equals one. But we have to remember our carried one and we get two. In the next column, we have eight plus nothing. Well, that's easy, it's just eight. And if we move to the two, it's the same. It's just adding to nothing. And we check and nothing carried, nope. So we'll just put down the two and the same thing for the one. We move it down to the answer and we're done. Now note that some people find it a little unnerving to add to nothing. So they might put zeros in these places. It's certainly not necessary as we know that one plus zero is the same as one plus nothing. So if you want to put the zeros there, it's up to you. They're not necessary.